What's up guys? Welcome back to the DLB Daily. Into our home gym, we got special guest Rob Bailey, special guest Kaya licking her butt. So today's workout is a dumbbell only. Um, anytime it says dumbbell, if you have kettlebells instead or barbell instead, feel free to interchange them. This is a dumbbell only chest with a hint of delts. We'll just sprinkle it on. So first up, we're going to do a little superset. We are doing seated underhand dumbbell flies. So the underhand just gives you that little extra um. So this way, if it's hammer, I feel like it's a little bit more shoulder. So we're gonna come up underhand you can do it alternating or one at a time. So this would be alternating, boom, 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 together. So depending on how big your dumbbells are, sounds weird, that's what she said. I don't know. <laughs> depending, sometimes you can't. I, I, I like to do a couple alternating and really come across your body. So think like here's the midline of your body. So instead of just coming here, you're gonna come across your body just like you would do with a, like a cable fly. After that, we're doing 10 to 12 there, and then you're gonna go right into a decline push up, which is just helps you hit your upper chest and a little bit more of your anterior delts. So feet up on the bench, decline push up. Keep your stomach nice and tight, glutes tight, and you're doing 10 to 12 here, or failure. So we're doing a little pre-exhaust before we get to like our bigger movements, because in your home gym, you might not have that many dumbbells to choose from, so we're gonna try to pre-exhaust our chest before we get to some of our presses, so that our lighter dumbbells feel a little bit heavier. So, four sets. 10 to 12 each. one done 60 seconds break in between and then hit it again so next up we need an incline bench I don't have one so we're gonna make one I'm gonna just stick a couple plates underneath just so that it's a little bit different than our flat bench which we'll be also using at some point I'm gonna do one more so we are doing incline dumbbell close grip. Um, and I've seen it called a hex press, a squeeze press. We're gonna keep our dumbbells together. So uh, tempo is gonna be a huge thing for anyone that only has a couple sets of dumbbells. Ours only go up to 45. So on a bench press or even an incline press, 45s isn't that much for me, and especially not for him. So if you add tempo, so a three second eccentric, one, sec one second concentric, you're going three seconds down. So back down. So these are three Mississippis, not one, two, three. <laughs> you're going one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. By the time you get to three, that you should be at your chest and then back up. One, two, three. One, two, Three, one, two, three. Ugh. And we're doing, again, all depending on what weights you have, I'd like to say eight to 10, but it's gonna be more like a 10 to 12, because 
I mean, 45s for him are gonna be kind of easy. Well, we'll see. Three second eccentric, one second, one second uh, concentric. So four sets, eight to 10 if you have heavy enough dumbbells, which those were 35s. Yeah. With the 45s. And then 45s. I'll do 20 reps, nice and slow. Um, yeah, you should be certain 30, probably 65, 75, 900 pounds. Next up, we're gonna do a flat bench. If you don't have a flat bench, you can do this on the floor, totally fine. We're going to do a unilateral, meaning one arm at a time, single arm flat rotational press. So rotational, you're just gonna come from here and you're gonna rotate in. So you're almost doing like that underhand, like we did with the underhand flies. You're just gonna rotate in. So you get a little bit more from your shoulder, a little bit of extra squeeze at the top. So it makes lighter weights seem a little bit harder. So I'm gonna just test it out with this little guy. <laughs> so where you put this hand is up to you. Kind of just like put it right on my hip. So when you come down, you're coming down like you normally would for your bench. When you come up, you're gonna slowly rotate in. So down. Other side. So start pretty light with this one because one, you're off balance. So you're gonna be using your core a little bit more. And it also makes the dumbbells, dumbbells are hard in itself because you're using all sorts of other muscles, stabilizer muscles to keep control of the dumbbell. So coming down and then turn in. It's just a little slight turn in. Oh, oh, we got four sets, 10 to 12 on each arm.
One round down, four to go. So flies are generally one of my favorite exercises. However, I'm not actually a huge um, fan of dumbbell flies on a bench. It puts your shoulder in a kind of precarious little circumstance. And if, if you care about your shoulders, I suggest doing a floor fly. So the floor fly, you're gonna lay on your back and the reason why I think it's a little bit safer for your shoulders is the, the ground is gonna stop you from going any further than you need to go. So your arms pretty much go flat, at least from your elbow, your, the top of your arm will be flat. And then you're gonna come up just in your flying motion. Um, elbow stays at a slightly fixed position, so it's not straight out. I get a slight bend so that you're keeping constant tension and then you're just flying straight up. You can touch or come close to touching. Um, after that, we're doing 10 to 12 there and then we're just doing uh, another 10 to 12 wide push up. So usually a push up is about where your shoulders, out, shoulders are or slightly outside. We're gonna go a little bit wider because we already did a lot of close stuff. So wide push up. It's nice having a stunt double here. So you're going a little bit wider than you normally would. So I'll just show you the difference where like I would be. So here's regular push up. Wider is pretty much where he's at. So a little bit wider makes them a little bit harder too. Coming down, coming back up. So four sets, 10 to 12. Again, with the push-ups, try to get at least 10. If you want to go to failure, by all means, go ahead. day you use a lot of deltoids so on chest day I always like to kind of throw a little bit of shoulders in there so we're doing a combo movement of front raise to lateral raise one rep boom that's one rep so one rep is up out down up front down one rep so we're going front raise lateral raise front raise so you're basically, I mean, you're doing four reps for every rep, I think. Is that, well, yeah. Well, it's like three reps. Front, two, uh, it's two and a half reps. It's, I don't even, I can't count. So I don't even know what I'm talking about. So we are doing eight reps. So one full rep is one, two. So every time you come to the front, that's when you'll count. So, this is the last thing. We got four sets of this, eight reps total, big combo movement, finish out chest day, and just finish off our delts because who doesn't like bigger delts? Said no one ever. Ready? I think it's nervous. So before we start, I just wanna show you what, like just what weights I'm actually using. So. This is a big movement. I'm only using 15s and it's gonna destroy me. So keep that in mind. I'm only using 15 pounds. Hey reps, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
So keep that in mind. Go light. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying these home and limited equipment workouts. So I know it's not fun having all the fun machines, but you can still get a good workout in with a couple of dumbbells. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below if you want more Rob Bailey guest appearances. Or Where if you don't. Or if you don't, which no Fuck one. Fuck that dude. Oh my God. Not speaking right. They're mean. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Keep kicking ass at home. What if I'm... I have a membership? Oh, good. if you don't have a membership, if you're watching this right now and you have no idea what the DLB Daily is, go to DanaLynnBailey.com. Right now, we are doing $7, $7 a month, but what I was going to say, right now, we are doing it completely free for seven days. So try it out for free. If you hate me and you hate looking at Rob, you can cancel at any time, but I highly doubt you're going to because I'm going to kick your butt with very minimal equipment. So sign up now, join me, try it out, DanaLynnBailey.com. Join the DLB Daily. Thanks for watching.